Okay, so this is one of our start barns where we uh, begin the whole veal process. We work with about um, 12 to 15 different source dairy farms. Basically what happens is we either go pick up these calves or they bring them to us uh, on a Monday or Tuesday of any given week. And we'll, uh, we'll weigh the calves. We, source, we, uh, we put them in different groups based on weight. And then uh, we tag them and feed them right away. And that's how the process starts. So really what, what we accomplish there is we get uh, traceability right back to the dairy farm. Uh, I can look at any one of these calves right now and tell you based on his ear tag which dairy farm he came from. From there, basically, they, uh, they have access to the calf feeder uh, via their uh, transponder tag, which is their, uh, the, ye the yellow button on their ear tag. Uh, the machine, the calf feeder, can recognize that, uh, that button and feed every calf uh, an appropriate amount for his age and size. They're housed in here for about three, three and a half weeks, uh, where they consume about uh, 50 pounds of milk replacer or veal feed. The barn itself is a, a natural, naturally ventilated barn, which means that it has curtains and relies on wind to, uh, to move air through the barn. You can see there's large overhead doors that we can open uh, for extra air movement and sunshine. And we also can close the barn off in winter time with the curtains to prevent too much air from, from coming in. There's also a clear roof uh, that has, uh, in the summertime, we pull the shade cloth uh, so that it's, it's covering the calves so they have a shady spot to lay. And in the winter time, we can pull that back so we get nice uh, warmth from the sun in the winter time. Uh, what they're laying on right now is a bedded pack, we call it. In the warmer months, we use only wood shavings. And in the winter time, we go with straw, which has an extra insulating effect. Um, it doesn't absorb as much, but the calves can, what we call, uh, nest in it. And uh, once the calves are, have spent their, thir their uh, 24 days in here, we load them onto a trailer and bring them over to the finishing barn. So you load them up with extra vitamins uh, the day before or a couple days before you move them and then continue that process when you've moved them over. Uh, but we try and keep everything uh, f uh, very familiar to the calf. So there's no feed changes. The feed stays the same. The calf feeder that they know uh, doesn't change. So when they get moved over to the other barn, they recognize this unit and can recognize that that's where they get their feed right away. And then we've got the, uh, the grain troughs as well, which uh, also they'll recognize right away. So they'll, they'll be able to continue to find their, uh, their grain.